you're either part of the solution or part of the problem or part of the landscape. Robert De Niro in Ronin. Ronin were a group of samurai who no longer had a master. The great films with Toshiro Mifune, which pretty much put Clint Eastwood on the map because they what they did was they took the Toshiro Mifune Kurosawa films and made them into a westernized version and Clint Eastwood and Sergio Leone made westerns out of samurai pictures that were very similar at least to the first film which was Yojimbo. Yojimbo is the same as A Fistful of Dollars. It's the same film. It's about a samurai in the Mifune case and it's about a gunslinger in the uh, Clint Eastwood case who had incredible power and were incredibly skilled. But that's not what I'm talking about. I am referencing the film Ronin. The film Ronin starred Robert De Niro, Gene Reno, some British guy that played the biggest asshole I've ever seen that I don't know his name, Patrick something or other, this really hot chick that played the love interest, and a bunch of other guys that you may or may not recognize. The German guy I've seen in other places. The, one of the villains. But it was a complex film. It contained some of the best chase scenes ever filmed in the last 20 years. Maybe the last 50 years. It has some incredible scenes that are, to use the word of um, David Mamet, fantastical fantastical that were beyond belief you'd have to suspend your belief to believe some of the stuff that happened but for me the film was about Robert De Niro and Gene Reno Robert De Niro I don't know if either one of them evolved during the film I, I think the film was about Gene Reno's enlightenment um, I think he was already there I think at the end of the film, he understood what life was about and what the modern world was about. And I think that's what that film was about. The film is about secrets and what's really going on. It's what it's about. Because there were things going on behind the scenes with the intelligence community. And some things happened that were pretty amazing. The scene... There's a scene in it where the the name of the film comes in where there's a French guy there who was a was a great French actor who starred in a as a detective in a classic um, in a classic film where he saw the film The Day of the Jackal which is about the murder or the assassination attempt on Mr. De Gaulle which was later remade with uh, uh, other actors or Western version, Bruce Willis and Robert G Richard Gere, which was nowhere near the first film. So they had an iconic actor there, and in the film, they're explaining about what Robert De Niro is doing and why he's there, and he explained that a ronin or that a samurai did things for things that were greater than himself. The film was anti-individualist. The film said yes. There's still wars going on. There's still danger. There's still things going on out there that are beyond our recognition. And that's what it was about. And the story, by the end of the story, John Reno no longer cared about who was behind it. Who were the secret keepers? Who were our betters? That was explained by some character. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they call themselves the Illuminati, or if they're Masons, or if their name is Rothschilds, if their name is Rockefeller, or if their name is Smith, or Jones, or Mary Jane, it doesn't matter. What matters is there's a war, and there's things going on out there that we don't know. We don't know what President Obama, what his 
reports say. We don't know what President Bush's report said. We don't know what President Ford's report said. We don't know those things, and we're never going to know. We only know that things need to be defended and things need to happen, and we can question what happens. We can question our government, but at the end of the day, we don't know. It's okay to question. So I just want to make it clear that I am not a Ronin. I work for someone that I am loyal and that I want to be successful and I'm going to be successful. And my Ronin days are over. Because I am not a masterless samurai. I am a salesperson and we're the samurais of society now. And you better get somebody and get a team and be loyal. And don't ask a lot of the wrong questions. Ask the right questions. Peace out. Remember, a peace sign means victory. So victory.